Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading The Remarried Empress, episode 183. Let's go ahead and get started. I heard that after the parentage test, results were revealed. Glorium lost her title. And Viscount Latishu and his son are facing trial. I knew Rash's past would eventually come to light, but it still troubles me to see such turmoil unfold. Despite everything that's happened, the Eastern Empire is my homeland. I hope nothing else happens to cause further embarrassment. Why is it glaring? I have a feeling that we're being followed. Hmm. You knew it. Someone is there. I could be right, but maybe they're coincidentally heading the same way. I'll freeze the floor and make them slip so I can find out who it is. Uh. <gasps> Ding. <gasps> who the devil are you? <gasps> the guards are here. <gasps> Intruder! And then Judah attacked her majesty with ice magic. You must get to safety, your majesty. Your majesty. Uh, hold on. This isn't what I intended. What on earth? Okay. Okay. The Remarried Empress. Episode 183. The news of the Empress nearly being attacked spread quickly. Naturally. It reached Henry's ears. I heard there was an intruder welding ice magic, my queen. Ugh. My goodness. An intruder using ice magic, of all things. Oh. Mm, she is so annoyed to freeze a servant. Oh, I'm shaking in my boots. It's terrifying. Wouldn't you say so, my queen? He's... Easing me, isn't he? My queen, my queen, whatever shall we do with a fearsome mage who freezes people barges into our chamber? Oh, will you protect me? Oh, she's gonna nag his ear like a just... My darling child, your mother is both... How do you say that? Vivacious and cold. <laughs> Oh, that look is terrifying. Huh. Well, why, are you, why are you grabbing the pillow? The voice in your head that urges you to tease me didn't mention the consequences, did it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this picture of like him just like, ah, it just like reminds me of the like the 90s art for all the like the cartoons and animes. My queen? Did you just dodge that? Oh, <laughs> oh your rage. Oh, oh. oh, my queen. That's so funny. <laughs> I've never seen her so mad. It was scary. Your Majesty, my, my brother-in-law. Oh, I'm glad I ran into you. Does your sister have a habit of swinging a pillow around when she's angry? Oh, it sounds like she was really furious. <laughs> when she was younger, she started using a pillow as a weapon because she couldn't just beat up the crown prince every time he, she argued with Soveshu. But there's no need to bring that up. She might use the pillow on me if I do. I see. <clears throat> well, enough about that. Uh, the marriage discussion with Princess Charlotte. Your Majesty, Viscount Landre has reported the results of the interrogation. 
Is this about how Navier was nearly attacked this afternoon? Yes, the servants was just an ordinary worker, but somebody asked him to find out who would intervene if he approached Her Majesty. Whoever is behind this is clearly targeting my queen. <laughs> the evil look on his face is terrifying. I'll make them pay for this. Oh. Meanwhile, in the Eastern Empire, would it have to be a port? I was hoping Empress Rashida would keep her position for a long time. What a shame. If it were just a matter of a huge monetary debt, I could have covered it up with private funds. But a port is an entire different, entirely different matter. If I want to avoid giving him a port, the transfer document must be declared invalid. To do that, we either argue that Rasha was never a good empress to begin with, or we claim that the notoriously promiscuous duke seduced the na na naive empress and extorted her it from her. Either options would bring shame upon the empire. True. I was once charmed by her unpretentious nature. She performed her royal duties poorly, but I excused it as she had to prepare for her role quickly. Still, the least she could have done was stay out of trouble. <sighs> All she had to do was relax and comfort for a year. Was that really too much to ask? <sighs> Let go of me, you bastards. Let go! Unhand me at once! We have captured Viscount Lotation, Your Majesty. Release him and leave us. Understood, Your Majesty. I told them they didn't have to drag me here. I'll tell you where your daughter is. P pardon? Rastra tried to have her kidnapped and sold into slavery. I was protecting her to prevent anything like that from happening again. Your whole family deserves to be annihilated for the crimes committed by you and your son. Uh, uh, annihilated? But if you cooperate with me willingly, I will spare the rest of your family. Wait, 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 whoa. So what I'm hearing from this is no matter what they do, no matter what Lotatio does, he's still going to get, right? And his son. But the, he, Sylvatia will spare his uh, Viscount Lotatio's wife and daughter. Wow. Wow. Either they all go down or only two of them go down and the other lives. But you know what kind of crazy is that both men are going to be wiped out, the only men in the family, so their lineage, lineage, or how do you say it, lineage, is gone. Well, there's Ian, but he would be considered a, um, like a bastard, you know, like bastards normally don't really carry on the family name. I don't know. Wow. Okay. All right. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the way I read and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and thank you so much for your support. I love reading everyone's comments. I know this read is like one of the popular reads on my channel, and I just love it. I love reading it, and I love the fact that I'm able to post it. The day it comes out and sometime it takes me a day or two to uh, edit and put it out there but thank you so much for your support and i'll catch you guys next time